Hey, what's up, YouTube? In today's video, I wanted to update everyone on the latest jailbreaking news. So if you guys saw my latest video, you'll know that a new package installer called Silo is on its way to the Electra jailbreak. Well, in today's video, we're going to further this conversation and take a look at all the updates pertaining to that. <laughs> Alright, so before we start, give this video a huge thumbs up if you're excited for Silo, and of course hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell to be notified when it's released to the masses. Lastly, the official links to the Silo Twitter account as well as all of the information discussed in today's video will be embedded in the Best Tech Info article down below in the description of this video. So definitely check that out if you're interested in Silo. Also, the icon for Silo as well as my wallpaper can be downloaded on that post as well. It's the first link in the description below. Alright, so first up, I just wanted to quickly recap just so everyone's on the same page. Now, Silo is a new package installer on its way to be released here soon that very well could be replacing Cydia entirely. It's being developed directly by the Electra Jailbreak team to work on their jailbreak. So not only will the entire user interface be updated to match today's more modern iOS 11 and 12 look and feel, but the entire installer has been built from scratch from the ground up, encompassing the latest drivers and is all around aimed at future-proofing jailbreaking. So things like loading and refreshing sources are going to be a whole lot faster, there's going to be a compatibility checker built directly into the installer, and not to fear, all of the default legacy Cydia repositories will be transferred over to Silo. So essentially, the Electra Jailbreak team is taking everything that Cydia currently has and does well, and is making that even faster, more stable, and all around a better, more modernized experience when installing packages. There's going to be a new standardized payment system which will be implemented across all repositories, so paid tweaks and linking accounts is going to be much easier and simplified. So those are just a few things you can come to expect once Silo is released and out. Again, I'm sure people are wondering why there is the need for this. Cydia works fine. Why change things? Well, again, like we talked about in my last video, Cydia only works on the Electra jailbreak because it has been heavily modified and patched to get it to function properly. So not only is there a ton of extra stuff included just to get Cydia to work on iOS 11, all of the old code such as 32-bit binaries and just so much of unneeded code is still present and is cluttering up Cydia. Again, in my last video, I showed you guys this tweet with Coolstar saying Cydia works seamlessly. No, it doesn't. Check out your Cydia.app on iOS 11. It only works because it has band-aids, zip ties, and Velcro applied to it. Well, he followed that up with this tweet, and really at the bottom is where I was surprised to see this. It says the version of Cydia shipped with the Electra jailbreak is currently over two years old. So it just goes to show how much has changed in the past couple of years, and that Cydia does work, but it really needs to be updated and modernized not only for its visual appearance, but for what's going on under the hood. Sorik unfortunately is not present on the jailbreaking scene, especially not with the Electra jailbreak or working with Coolstar in any way. So unfortunately, Cydia just has not been updated for modern iOS versions. Now, it's going to be very hard to give up Cydia, as it's what I and the rest of the jailbreaking community has known and loved since the inception of jailbreaking. It was even with us before Apple created an official app store. But again, it really just no longer works with today's modern jailbreaks. Again, Coolstar tweeted out this saying, Anyone remember how the day after the Electra jailbreak for iOS 11.1.2 was released? Cydia broke because Zurich pushed an update. Again, little things like that have been fixed and are currently being maintained pretty much by Coolstar himself. But from one of the last tweets that I just show you, it sounds like it's just a pain to keep up and to have it just barely function on his jailbreak. The silo is aimed at getting rid of all this frustration and clutter. It's going to clean up and slim down the jailbreak's package installer and give it a stable foundation to build upon. But at the same time with silo, we're going to be receiving a brand new revamped user interface as well as some new features that complement this change nicely. Again, Coolstar tweeted out this saying silo will only support iOS 11 and the point of silo, it's designed with modern iOS and modern 64-bit command line tools and libraries in mind. All right, so moving on to today's news, here's some of the latest information that has surfaced. So first up, Silo has a new official icon. Again, all of this information is coming from members of the Electra Jailbreak team, from Coolstar directly himself, and from the brand new official Silo Twitter account. 
Again, all these tweets and information can be found embedded in the article linked below. So I was pretty stoked to see this new icon. Honestly, I really like it. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments section. So like I said earlier, Coolstar and the Electra Jailbreak team is adding all of the default and legacy city or repositories to Silo. Now, during this process, he's going to be filtering out packages and only display ones that are compatible with iOS 11. He says the purpose of the repo filter is to only block packages that are super outdated. In a follow-up tweet, he says without the repo filter, there's 60,000 packages, and with the filter, there's only 6,000. He says 90% of packages on Cydia were not even updated after the release of iOS 9. And very lastly on this note, he says the tweak compatible data has been imported for the package filter. So it sounds like the need for tweak compatible will no longer be necessary and that will be implemented directly within Silo by default. All right, so another major benefit of Silo because it was built with iOS 11 and the iPhone 8 and 10 in mind, Silo will be able to take advantage of all six CPU cores on the iPhone 8 and 10, so those users should expect Silo to run significantly faster compared to other devices, although they say Silo will still be very fast on every device. Along with this, the Electro Jailbreak team is also working on a new safe mode splash screen. Furthermore, an official payment method will finally be implemented in Silo that's consistent across all repositories. So expect this new payment method to be standardized across all repositories and packages. We'll be able to see things like the package price and the purchase status directly within Silo. Simply put, the new payment system is going to be pretty much seamless within Silo. Another update directly from the Silo Twitter account. The team says, we are happy to announce that Silo can now properly download packages and dependencies. We've successfully downloaded a couple of packages and the results were positive. So work in the background is being done to ensure that when Silo is released to the public, it will work directly out of the box. Although an official ETA has yet to be announced by the Electro Jailbreak team, as you guys can see, work is being done every single week and I'm really excited to see Silo once it's released to the public. It looks like a ton of developers are already jumping on board with this new package installer. Something that may be coming to it is the option to customize it, to customize the icon logo, as well as the theme accent color, as well as having a dark or light mode, in the end allowing the package installer to be unique for every person. Very lastly, I wanted to show you guys this video demoing Silo and Project Repo Unclutter. This shows how fast sources can be refreshed within the new package installer. Again, in this demo, it took under two seconds to perform this process. But in the end, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. That is the latest news regarding Silo and the developments made on it. Just a few more updates. The Electro Jailbreak team has lost a member. Pwn to Own is no longer a part of the team. Coolstar tweeted out saying, We have had several problems with him and have decided to remove him from the Electro Jailbreak team due to his recent behavior. He says he's caught wind that he was planning to leak the source code of the Electro Jailbreak and because of that, Coolstar has now open sourced the project. So that is the latest news as well. The Electra Jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1 is now open source, meaning others can see and view the actual source code of this jailbreak to learn and make new jailbreaks potentially in the future. So again, as a quick recap, a new package installer named Silo is coming to the Electra Jailbreak. Aimed at future-proofing jailbreaking, Silo will encompass a modern user interface with brand new dependencies updated for iOS 11. With a more stable foundation, Silo will revolutionize jailbreaking and installing packages with tons of new features like multi-core support, a standardized payment system, compatibility filters, UI customization, and more. Overall, it will take everything that worked currently from Cydia and make it even better. Now, I'm super stoked for Silo, and the progress Coolstar and the Electro Jailbreak team has made thus far is just astonishing. And although an official ETA has yet to be announced, I would be expecting this change sooner than later. But not to fear, it sounds like the transition is going to be seamless, allowing users to keep all their currently installed packages and leave their current preferences intact during the move. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Again, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and of course subscribe to stay notified on the latest updates pertaining to jailbreaking and the Electra Jailbreak and Silo. 
Again, don't forget to check out the best tech info article down in the description of this video for more information, links to the official Silo Twitter account, as well as a download link to my background here on my iPhone. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching again, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.